This is the Volvo V60. And straight away, you've got to say, it's far more aesthetically intriguing than most of its ancestors. Perhaps because it has these Thor Hammer headlights, a bit like a Lamborghini Urus. But is it any good? The Volvo, sadly, not, not the Lamborghini. This one I'm in is the D4 version with a two litre diesel engine, an automatic gearbox and that bonnet stretching out indefinitely. And the first thing to say is the 190 Swedish and partly Chinese brake horsepowers are refreshingly rampant. For a thousand pounds more than the D3, you get this D4 version and it comes with this drive mode selector on the centre console which allows me to select dynamic mode, high performance, which apparently tightens up suspension and speeds up gear changes. Apparently. But for what is a small cathedral, it certainly moves. The V60 may not have quite the same athletic ability in the corners as a Volkswagen or BMW, where actually there can be fairly dramatic quantity of lean, but it's no slouch. But I think we're getting away from the point of this car. In years gone by, Volvos were driven mostly by technocrats who thought that their headlight wipers were trendy and useful, which frankly, they weren't. Volvos haven't always been the coolest cars to be driving. I mean, as Tiny Temper once wrote in his song Girls Like featuring Zara Larsson, I got a Merc, I ain't got a Volvo. And that says it all, really. But today we all know what a Volvo is and what they're for. They represent an alternative to the likes of a BMW, Audi or other German saloon. But also, when it comes to a Volvo estate, they're for moving things comfortably. Thankfully, the V60 has more than 650 litres of boot space, which dwarfs pretty much all of its competitors. But what about a fly fisherman? Could you fit his substantial rod in the Volvo? Oh. Right. Arg! Arg! What did you do? Cut my finger. There was an inevitability to that, wasn't there? How? So my DNA's on there now. Yes. Let's have another go. Come on. It might fit, you know. See? Onwards! So I decided to make my way to the fish ponds in the classic Volvo fashion, which gave me a chance to get at home with the Chinese owned Swede. The interior is a top job, I have to say. It simply feels more refined and upmarket than a Volkswagen or low spec BMW. But there are problems. This center console is finished in gloss and it gets so dusty. Uh, and if you grab the steering wheel in an excitable way, it's quite easy to skip the song you're listening to. And that's a bit rubbish. I soon arrived at the fish ponds, where, ready to get into the Volvo driver's mind space, I carved gracefully through the grass lane. excited for a spot of fly fishing. Sadly, however, as it turned out, I'm stuck already. I wasn't very good at fly fishing. So I handed the rod to a man who was, and with that, I thought I'd get back on the road. Oh. 
I think the only real downside to the V60 is its aforementioned slightly lacking drive. Sometimes driving it for a long time can feel like you're trying to keep a yacht in the right direction in a breeze. It simply doesn't feel as happy where the Germans do. Also, the automatic gearbox can be a bit dim-witted and slow if you're caught out at a roundabout, even, I'm afraid to say, if you're in dynamic mode. And let's not forget that the V60 starts at £32,000, and that's getting on for BMW and Mercedes money. But as I said at the top of this piece, unlike Volvos of old, the V60 has a bit more to say for itself. Pop the car into dynamic mode and there's enough torque, 400 newton meters of it in fact, to get you, your fishing gear and everything else closer to the horizon. And in reality, how much does the detail of the drive really matter to the average Volvo customer? Surely what they're after is a big, safe car with a tasteful interior and some Swedish sophistication. Ultimately then, this checklist is exactly what the V60 offers, with its enormous boot, bourgeois interior and Swedish safeness and allure. And it's worth mentioning that the V60 scored 97% in its NCAP crash tests, which is impressive. So really, this Volvo is much the same as a Dyson vacuum cleaner. It does what it does, incredibly effectively. It really does, and it looks the part. It's just the thing it does so well isn't all that exciting, but it's everything it needed to be.